Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the DL24 load analyzer or load tester. This is a device mostly used for uh, determining battery capacities uh, or testing uh, some type of uh, power supplies um, and we are going to go through those options. Uh, it has four uh, working modes such as uh, constant current, constant voltage, constant resistance and there was another one, uh, I think it's written somewhere here, but that's not important right now. And it looks really nice, uh, comes in uh, this uh, shape, if you can call it like that. It doesn't come with a case, it's uh, kind of a do-it-yourself, but not doing it yourself. Uh, and has this rubber band here, which I'm going to take off. That's to better hold the screen here during transport, although it's fixed on the board, but that's kind of an extra protection. Right, so we get a power supply. It's a 12 volt power supply with one amp. We get this matching for European plugs. And we get some extra wires here. And we have here a micro USB cable and a pair of alligator clips and a thermistor or temperature sensor. Alright, so let's supply power uh, to the analyzer or tester. Uh, you may wonder why a load tester uses an external power supply while it could use power from the tested uh, supply. Well, that is for increasing the accuracy because the device itself will not drain power, uh, making uh, calculation more exactly using an external power supply. So it only has logical things to measure and it will not influence the power draw with its own draw. So that makes it a very good idea. All right, so here there goes the power in and it does a quick sound and we get this nice colored LCD screen and you can see here a CC that it's constant current mode and we have this uh, menu here setup menu and now you see a small line there and with the buttons here up down you can select the current so it's now one amp uh, here on this side you have several connectors these are all for uh, uh, drawing in power for the measurement so you have this screw type here mount you have this is the thermistor connector that you can connect right away and this will measure the temperature of your battery if you want to measure that right you have this jack here DC jack and you have also USB ports all the kinds of USB ports that we commonly use such as the uh, mini uh, the micro and the newer type C connector and now I'm going to connect the provided cables here They are uh, pre-soldered, which is a good thing. Um, you can plug them right away. Also on the board here, uh, there are labels and uh, instructions for everything that you need. So it's, each connector is labeled and buttons are labeled. So it's kind of easy to use right off the box. You can uh, discard this user manual, scan it because it's not printed correctly, but you can find the software on the internet. I'm going to uh, leave a link uh, in my video description from where to download the software. So this is the plus wire here, which I'm going now to fix. Uh, 
and the negative wire connector and as simple as that now I can connect my uh, battery that I want to test so I'm going to power on the this charger it puts up really fast and I'm going to connect this uh, alligator clips to the battery plug well, that is connected and you can see the voltage right away on the display here so battery voltage is there it's in a uh, CC mode I'm going to set up a discharge current of 1 amp and I'm going to press start and it's now on and it's drawing 1 amp constantly from the battery and you can monitor everything here such as the internal resistance the power voltage the current which is very close to the setup one and you can see how many milliamps you have already consumed from the battery there is also an uh, an app for the mobile phone which is free you can uh, find it by searching uh, on Google Play for eMaster or something like that and uh, you are going to get a glimpse about the model here DL24BLE it's easy to set this up it doesn't need a password you just need to enable not only Bluetooth on your mobile phone but also uh, GPS location and then it will discover the device if you press this Bluetooth here button it will show the available devices you are going to connect to that one and you are going to see this nice graphic here but that's it uh, the app it's at least terrible not to say worse than that because you have this setup plus minus and enter buttons but they are actually the buttons mapped here so uh, when you press setup it gives the setup command from this button but it doesn't show anything here on the screen so if you want to set up the uh, current there I'm setting up the current as you can see here on the screen but it doesn't show here anything so you still need to watch at this display uh, which it's useless uh, maybe the idea is to install this in a nice shiny box to protect it from the elements uh, just run the cables out and use this as a remote while you still need to look at the screen so the app is there but it's not very useful you have the nice graphic here but okay I want more than that and for now this is the app and doesn't do more than that there is also a PC app which looks very similar with this one and I think it has the same functionality but it's more complicated to use because you need to use USB connector here install a host driver on your PC this will run a simulated um, serial port and you need to install drivers configure the COM port, virtual COM port communication port for serial communication and then run the app select the port and you have a very simple app which looks exactly like this one but only has the buttons from here on this side here so okay it's not what I was thinking of and I would have loved to have the menu set up some, somehow working in a different way and there is another menu beside the uh, user interface here if you press and hold the start button which is also an on off button um, you can press it for a few seconds and you have this menu here and with the setup button you select the desired option here and then you can exit and there is an annoying thing uh, you cannot disable the uh, beeper or adjust the volume so I'm going to apply a quick fix and make it less noisy because I hate that repetitive sound and now it should be 
a bit better just a bit better but not too much and in this menu here you have several things such as clear cumulative data this will remember each time when you discharge a battery the drone amount so when you start with a new battery you can reset it this is good when you are discharging a very large battery very slow uh, because it could take several days and uh, maybe you need to turn this off or something happens or you do not want to leave it unattended so you can stop the process and this will remember how much you have drawn from that battery then when you continue it will draw um, the remaining power and you have a cumulative data of how much energy you have pulled with this device so that's a good idea and when you change the battery you can reset that and there is one more uh, quick check I want to do. I want to remove the clamp that is holding the cooler here. And yes, they have applied thermal pastes, lots of it. Uh, that should be fine for now. Uh, I'm not a fan of applying thermal paste like procedures say, so that's fine with me. Just add a big blob of paste and it will do. Right, uh, the wire for the um, fan is put there. It could easily be catched into the fan. I'm going to put it under the heat sink for better protection. Another nice thing is that the fan here is temperature control or somehow smartly controlled uh, because now I'm drawing 0 0.7 amp current and you can change the current on the fly and if I increase the current the fan will start so I'm at 0 0.9 and it has started working but if I reduce the current at 0 0.8 it has stopped and the heat sink is cool so it's kind of a, a protection when you increase the current the fan will start right away I don't know if the fan will get hot I don't see a temperature sensor on the heat sink so it might be nope as you can see it does have some some temperature sensor probably it's installed on the board next to the uh, discharger circuit here uh, on order of caution when you use this kind of device if you want to use it with lipo batteries or lithium batteries do not use the constant voltage option uh, that forces this device to draw a load that will uh, make a voltage drop of the battery to the setup voltage so for instance if I have uh, um, currently uh, 11 volts in this battery and if I set it to 7 volts let's say just say and this can discharge theoretically up to 180 watts uh, you get the idea um, this will put the maximum discharge current possible so the battery voltage will drop to that voltage as fast as possible and because lithium batteries and lipo batteries have very small internal resistance uh, it will result in a fire or destroying the battery or blowing up this device this should have protection for overpower but it will destroy most uh, smaller lipo batteries uh, it will be like uh, making a short circuit a controlled short circuit that will draw a huge amount of power from the battery dropping the voltage to the setup voltage if i set this to uh, maybe 10 volts it will still uh, put a very high stress on the battery and it will swell uh, overheat and burst so don't use constant voltage on those type of batteries you can use uh, constant current which is the most used one for uh, batteries uh, you also have constant power if you want to do some load testing and you can measure the temperature of the battery to see if the battery will be able to hold a continuous uh, output power so that was it for now i hope that you have enjoyed this video be sure to follow my next uploads where i'm going to do more electrical stuff hopefully uh, if you have any kind of uh, questions about the device, its capability, functions or things like that, let me know in the comment below and I'm going to try to answer you as best and as fast as possible and as ever. Until then, see you and bye bye.